smaller schools can still pack a big punch on the football field. As Cronkite News reporter Lacey Darrow shows us, one program is scaling down their team and field to make the most of their student body. Thanks, so. Elle. I went to Glendale Preparatory Academy and found out how they're adjusting the classic game of football to fit a little bit better with their small school. It's a hot afternoon in Glendale, but that doesn't stop the Glendale Prep varsity football team from putting on their helmets and getting in some practice. They have a big weekend ahead. This weekend, uh, we are traveling to Baghdad, Arizona to play the number one team in the state. At a glance, hey. the Glendale Prep varsity football team looks the part of a typical high contact. school football team. But the difference, as head coach Jamie Self explains, right. is... Uh, about three people. In Arizona, smaller schools like Glendale Prep and their opponent Baghdad High School play with only eight men. This allows schools in the state who might not have the numbers to fill an entire 11-man team the opportunity to play just like a bigger school. Although the game is played the same, there are some differences between the two. The field itself is actually different. Um, it's only 40 yards wide versus the normal 52 or 53 that an 11-man field would be. But the game doesn't slow down with a smaller field. The eight-man football, you can have a lot more big plays. There's not as many people on the field. The scoring is a lot higher than I've seen for a lot of other football teams. So they score pretty high on each other. Your typical high school football team could have as many as 150 players. Your typical eight man team, around 30 players. But the smaller size doesn't affect the way that they feel about the game and their team. Uh, football is something that they do and they love and these are some of their best friends. This team is very, they're very much like a family. A team on the field and a family off. In Glendale, Lacey Darrow, Cronkite News. Now, I did go to the game on Friday, and despite taking a loss, the Griffins put up a great fight. Live from downtown Phoenix, Lacey Darrow, Cronkite News.